guitar lesson. Today we're going to look at Modern Don Juan, uh, an early Buddy Holly classic. I'd like to say thank you very much to Carol Winters of Rock of Hillbillies for singing on this track. Uh, doing a great job there Carol, thank you. And I'd also like to thank uh, Sam Brunt from Luton for requesting this uh, guitar lesson. Thank you Sam. So Modern Don Juan was recorded in 1956 by Buddy Holly. The origins of this track, I I've, I've not been able to find that much information about it. But I think that it was part of the Nashville Sessions and Sonny Curtis was the lead guitar player. But if I've got that wrong, please let me know in the comments, folks. I'm here to learn as much as anyone else. So this song was a little bit tricky because it features a horn section on it. And uh, that was quite difficult to do at the same time as playing the guitar parts. So, but what I've done is I've, I've kind of transposed it to guitar and break it down for you now, folks. So let's just look at the horn part separately. It's, it's in the key of E this song and the first part starts off on the 7th fret on the E and goes sliding down the fretboard and plays an open E. Just like that. Now depending on how dexterous you are you might be able to fit in the actual guitar part at the same time. But it's quite hard to do that, I'll be honest, especially if you're singing at the same time. That'll take a bit of practice, but you can probably manage it. It's harder when you get to the B chord further on, though. Anyway, uh, so, so that's the initial horn part. When it moves to the A chord, it just moves up one fret to the A string. back down to E. And then when it goes to the B chord, you're going to go up to the 9th fret and stop on the 2nd fret on the A. So your 9th fret on the A going down to 2 on the A. In terms of the, the little chord bits there, what we're doing is we're playing an E and then we're going to an A uh, and then back down to E, back up to A, back down to E. Is 
kind of like that uh, Keith Richards lick. <laughs> And just try, I think I might have hit the top E string there, but just try and play the basic internal sort of strings. Like that. So you're playing an A chord and then you're hammering on to uh, 3 on the B and uh, 4 on the D. And it goes back to that E chord. And then on the B, just move that A shape up two frets. And you're just playing that same shape again, so you're hammering on. So you've got your uh, first finger on the four, on the uh, fourth fret on the, 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 the B, G and the D. Then you're hammering on to five on the B and six on the D. It goes to E. Back to E. And so there's a little bridge bit. It goes. It goes into E. Back to E. Could walk down there, which is just going seven, seven, five, five, four, four, two, two, back to E. So that's the verse. Let's have a little look at the solo. So the solo starts off mimicking the main riff. So that's playing a uh, 9 on the D string and 11 on the A string. And then going up to 11 on the D string and 12 on the A string. start off a, a, a nice little solo so basically what's happening there we're going to go 12 14 on the B 12 on the E then we're going to play eight strikes on the 15 and on the eighth one you want to push that 15 up a bit Back down to 12. 15 on the B, and then tw three twelves on the B. Then four twelves on the E. Then 15 on the B. Four twelves on the B. Then 14 on the G. 14, 12 to 13 hammer on. 12, 12, 12 on the B. Let's try that slowly. Then we're going to go 12, 14 on the B, 12 on the E, and then bend 15 up. Back to 12, 15, 3 12s, let's try that. Then we're going to go, then we're going to go 15, 12, 15, 12 on the B, 15, 14, 12 on the G, 12 on the B, 15, 12 on the G, 
14 on the D. And then we're going to play that riff again. Which is basically 12 and 13, 12 on the B, 13 on the G. I'm playing that three times. 14 on the B and G. 12 and 13. Slide that down. So let's try the whole thing. There we go folks, I hope, you've, I hope you found that helpful. That was uh, Modern Don Juan. Uh, next week I think we're going to look at Peggy Sue Got Married, we'll do the solos. The, uh, the overdubs that were done later in the 60s after Buddy died, a uh, great, great song as well. Okay, hope you enjoyed that folks, thanks for tuning in, keep rocking. Please think of subscribing to the channel if you enjoy rock and roll guitar lessons and rock and roll videos. We'll upload something every week. Thank you once again, we'll see you next time.